Uh, so, hello everybody, what is going on dudes? It is Ibishimaki here, and welcome back to some more Pokemon Emerald. Last time we went ahead and made way south of Vampire, checked out the various locations, and visited the Berry Master, and began our trek through Team Magma's hideouts. This time we have nothing more to do but see just what else is lying in this place, as well as... Uh, just discover what exactly they uncovered deep within this area. Um, the item... I already got the item, duh. So we can move on. The battle is next. We have roll calls, important guarding assignments in our world lineup. That's why I'm stuck in this corner. I'm always late to roll call. Don't be late to roll call then. Huh, it's pretty blunt, pretty, pretty straightforward. There's not much more, really, to miss out on here with Team Magma's hideout. Only a few areas left to see, and then we reach where Maxi and Ta where Tabitha and Maxi are. Astonish, sludge once more. I think the really interesting thing about Maxi and Aqua, or um, Magma and Aqua, is that Magma only has one admin, while Aqua has two. And what I mean by two, well, we'll find out. You'll find out soon enough. We had almost ran into one while we were over there. But here we are, we found ourselves a rare candy, which is nice. Let's see what you have to say. Okay, I'll try to put a little more effort into things from now on. Yeah, you really should. Stop being lazy, stop missing roll call. Let's move. And let's set up another rappel because that's really all that we can do. We inch closer and closer to the center. We can't afford to waste our own time or use too much time. We gotta see just what is hidden within the depths. And I don't know if we have any new items. We have a calcium. Bless you! Special attack is for Venus. Escape ropes full of stores and elixirs. Move the elixir up here. Move the forest store right up here as well. Alright, cool. And we are set to continue. Going. We have another battle we have to fight. What did I do to deserve this carding post? My left ear is burning up. Eesh, it's gotta be unfortunate. Well, you're probably late to roll call, so, you know. No. Um, <laughs> yeah, no. a lot of these streamers you can easily avoid. You don't really have to fight all of the Magma Grunts, though I recommend you do because they are once, one, once, one time area battles. So the instant that you end up uh, make me into the end and fight Maxi on his defeat, all these grunts will disappear and you will not be able to fight them ever again. So that's a lot of both money and experience you are gonna miss out on if you do not uh, decide to step up and battle them. I think, I think there's, yeah, there's a trainer here, another one. We should be okay. I think you can go ahead and use stockpile and stuff. I understand everything our leader was doing. Doing stuff like digging a super ancient Pokemon and ripping off someone's meteor. I think we're going a little too far. What do you think? Yes, again, Manda. Ah, oh, take care of that chicken for Alright, we're good. Sorry about that. I had to do a little bit conversing, but we saw just how stockpile works. It lets us heal for free. We can also do damage with. Why would you bring this out? Why? I guess. We'll just use fly real quick. We're gonna have poison, so you're gonna get even lower. This will probably be enough to KO you. Yeah. We're good. 297, flies getting some XP, even though I'm never gonna use you. We are good. Go so, and another item already. Cool. What we get? 
There's a potion. And okay, we'll use it real quick, might as well. Don't forget the chicken egg. I will not. Let's go, let's use it on Krakatoa, because why not? He's already low on HP. Oh yeah, the max, I need to move that up. Put this right there. Damn that stupid thing. Stupid buttons. Move along. We have another battle we cannot avoid. Dang, no. Okay, we are good. Battle the next one. Move on to the next and move on to the next. No one interferes with us and gets away with it. Oh, but I do. I do interfere and I get away with it indeed. Because I've done it three times already. Actually, twice. Yeah, twice. Over at um, Meteor Falls and again over at... Um, on the top of Mount Chimney. So, I've gone away with it twice now. Third time's a charm, I guess you could say. With Aqua as well, I've done it three times, I think. Which was in Petalburg Woods, Inverted Rusturf Tunnel, and again in Sleepport City. And the Weather Institute. That's four times, actually. Apparently, I do not like Team Aqua as much. Can't be trusted at all. Damn right, I can't. Let's keep on moving. Get ourselves this. A nugget. Awesome. Trade that for some good money. Now I believe we have nothing more but a few battle, double battles coming up, which these are completely unavoidable. You have to fight these in order to continue. Here's one right off the bat. I want to see Groudon too, but they won't let me see its tail. You got me feeling really frustrated. Oh no, I blabbed about Groudon. So that is what they are trying to resurrect. Groudon. Quite interesting to say the least. Bow toy. You can see some consistency with their Pokemon. Nothing really too far fetched, nothing too out of the ordinary. A lot of straightforward Pokemon. And I've been getting really successful in landing that we're getting poison. Are you sure you don't have Serene Grace Choo Choo? Because my gosh, the amount of times this has been happening for me lately is absolutely stellar. Sludge again. Go. The Magma Grunt. Possible to win one if you can have a Calm Mind. You don't have a Calm Mind, indeed. 6.30. Go ahead. Grab this item before I forget. This is Repel. Hey, we'll take it. I need to use uh, an Ether, anyways. Uh, yeah, an Ether. Just regular Ether. Revive Sludge. And I can do these one-on-ones. Very soon our grand objective will be achieved. Ooh, we shall see about that. Got a new mel. Numel, numel, numel. I don't know why I say numel. I just do. Numel, numel. Huh. <sighs> Go. Good damage, and again another poison. My gosh. This again. Stellar as usual. Sludge again. Uh, and we are good. <clears throat> Come so far, but now this? Yes, now this indeed. Another one to fight. Not finished yet. Not even getting by me easily. Oh, I beg to differ. We are pretty high level, and honestly, I think we're a bit higher level than I would normally expect. I guess it's because we're fighting every trainer, or something like that. In all honesty, I'm kind of surprised by the amount of, not the amount of damage I'm doing, but more so just my level in general. We are pretty high level, we're getting really lucky with um, our damage, getting poisons and getting crits, which is really good. Oh, was that easy to knock down? Yes. I'll be honest, you were. Now, yep, it's time. Um, might as well use my hyper potion, why not? Another item already? Jeez, okay. Careful! Will not grab this. This is another escape rope. Alright, cool. Whew, here we go. <laughs> you made it this far, so I'll tell you. That's right. 
Up ahead, Groudon is sleepy. Maxi went to Groudon just seconds ago. It's going to awaken real soon. <laughs> yep, we have ourselves a battle with none other than Tabitha. Tabitha starts off with a new Mel, level 26, fire ground type, oblivious for the ability, lose tackle, ember, magnitude, and focus energy. Main thing it'll probably do is start off with a magnet focus energy to raise its crit chances. Probably use magnitude if you are a poison type or a rock type or any other typing that's weak to it. And then probably use tackle for decent damage and ember to hopefully burn you. Fortunately, we took it down a lot faster than I was anticipating, but we'll take it. Next up, he's going out big guns already. Okay, well, we'll keep choo choo and see what we do. Next up is Camerupt. Camerupt is level 33, fire ground type, magma armor for the ability. Moves energy, moves focus energy, take down if you need a rock slide. Main thing it'll probably do is start off with a focus energy to raise its uh, critical hit chances. Rock slide to hopefully lower your speed, uh, take down for high amounts of damage, or amnesia for special defense increase. It'll probably go with focus energy or amnesia first, then probably rock slide just for high amounts of damage, and if you can ensure the KO, it'll might go for takedown. Other than that, this is a pretty straightforward fight, it can be a bit difficult because of this camera and because of the various typings of his other Pokemon, but it's not too problematic to deal with. Of course, when it gets low, it will heal up itself. But you should be okay since we got a poison, so we're able to negate the damage and hopefully take it down at once in this last go. Perfect, just enough. Take it, she hits, hits level 41, which is awesome. And next up is Mightyena. Let's go over to Kurogane. Should be okay for this. Hell yeah. Sent out Mighty Anna. You lower our attack stat, but that's fine. We are 12, we're 13 levels above you, so we should be okay. Mighty Anna, I didn't even bother going over, we got a high crit. Mighty Anna is level 28, pure dark type, intimidate for the ability with the moves Bite, Motor Sleuth, Roar, and Swagger. It'll probably use Swagger to counter its intimidate, but to confuse you for the main premise. Odor Sleuth to guarantee his next move hits. If it doesn't like your stats, it'll probably go with Roar and Bite for constant damage. Last up is Zubat, which is level 30, Poison Flying type, inner focus for the ability so you won't get it to flinch. Lose Astonish, Bite, Wing Attack, and Confuse Ray. It'll probably start up with Confuse Ray just to confuse you. Of course, Astonish will only get you to flinch. Wing Attack for high amounts of damage if you're weak to it, and Bite again for consistency. Huh. Shouldn't be, again, shouldn't be too much of a problem. Pretty straightforward fight, and it should be a clean wrap. Down just like that, we are good. Taking down again. <laughs> yes, indeed. Go ahead and put Rogani up front and Choo Choo relax for now since Choo Choo basically carried us throughout the rest of this place. We have a few, one last item to get. It's a Max Revive. Hey, that's not bad. Now, nothing more. But Maxi. There's really not much I can do. I'd rather just save. I get to fighting this man. There we go. Groudon. Nothing could awaken you from your sleep bathed in magma. This blue orb is what you sought, wasn't it? I have brought you the blue orb. Let it shine. Wait. And show me. Show me the full extent of your power. He uses the blue orb on the red Pokemon. Not sure if that was a smart idea. Just like that, it's gone. Hey, Groudon, what's wrong? Wasn't the blue orb the key? Groudon, where have you gone? Oh, so it was you. Seen you poking around and invited you in there. I get it now. You must have pulled a cheap stunt. There was no cheap stunt, but there is a battle against Magma Leader Maxi. He starts off with a Mighty Yenna, level 37, 
your dark type intimidate for the ability with the moves roar swagger scary face take down it'll probably start off with a swagger right off the bat just to lower increase your speed your attack side once again but confuse you in the exact same process it'll probably also use scary face to lower your speed as well as take down for high amounts of damage and if you're building up stats yourself it will use take a uh, roar to launch you out and bring in another problem this can either be really good for you or really bad all depending on how the situation goes and how lucky you kind of turn out with your confusion unfortunately my confusion has not been on my side lately so this can't really go bode well for me off the bat he's gonna of course get hit with recoil or attacks that should be back to normal we did hit ourselves again though so this is not looking good we hit ourselves one more time, we are done for. Though we could really use the boost. Snap out of confusion right away. We get a leaf blade. That should do it, in all honesty. A critical hit, that's even better. Exactly what we needed. Whew. Next up is Crobat. I'm gonna swap right into Venus for this. Whew. Crobat! Is level 38 poison flying type inner focus for the ability meaning you can't cause it to flinch with moves bite wing attack confuse ray and air cutter the main thing it'll probably do is start off with a confuse ray just so that way it's harder for you to hit it bite for damage if you are strong against it such as myself with a psychic type and air cutter for high amounts of damage or the potential crit or wing attack for consistency of course it's going to choose it wisely so you choose your own moves wisely and be ready I'm getting absurdly lucky with not getting a single confused ray landed on me so we're doing pretty all right I'm gonna keep Venus in because the last up is this tried and true camera up this camera up is level 39 fire ground type magma armor for the ability to lose takedown amnesia rock slide earthquake the main thing it'll probably do is start off with an amnesia just to raise your special defenses, rock slide to lower your speed, take down for high amounts of damage, and magnitude to probably KO you in one go. Fortunately, we are faster, we have one Calm Mind up, and we can take it down because we are two levels above. What makes you, what makes you so adept at handling Pokemon? I don't know. I guess this is our natural flowing ability. There has to be some reason why Groudon fled. That's what you are trying to say, aren't you? Hmm. Huh. I think I didn't know that. Groudon gone, there is no longer any need for this blasted volcano. I am going after Groudon, so this is where we part. The blue orb is not meant for Groudon, as such the red orb is not for its counterpart. Though we haven't seen or heard of its counterpart, there's no point in going over it or saying anything, because it'll just spoil a lot. What do we take this way? Two other paths that lead to nothing. We end up back here on the first floor. All the grunts are gone, as I had mentioned before, so again, fight them when you can, right away, because if you don't, you miss out on them entirely. Before we use this, we have a repel to use, which you might as well. We have three escape ropes to sell. Great. So a good amount of money for us to stand. We use strength. And we get on out. There's nothing left for us here on the Jagged Pass. <sighs> so now, where we can head off to is, of course, we can return to Lily Cove, but the main interest is Slayport first. And what we will be doing here in Slayport, well, you guys will find out next time. I'm going to heal up. I'm going to go battle whatever trenches I skipped out on on Route 121 or 2 or 3, whichever one it was. Ugh! Collect that revival herb I missed, and pretty much be ready for this upcoming onslaught. We see that things are pretty crowded here at Slate Point. I wonder just what is happening. That'll be it for now, though. Hope you guys did enjoy, and hope you guys continue to enjoy. And I will, of course, be seeing all you dudes next time. Peace out, everybody.